There is absolutely a time and a place when creating a bit of friction in your marketing is a good thing. I'm Yvette Mayer, and you're about to discover how the human design gates can help you create more engaging content to grow your business. In each episode, we explore a specific gate's unique frequency as a cosmic content code. Let's dive in. In this episode, we are exploring gate six, which in the human design system is the gate of friction. This is one of those gates where Ra Uruhu has named the gate around the lower frequency energy. But actually when you understand gate six at a deeper level, it is more about striving for peace. So it's quite the opposite. We're talking about the low frequency and the high frequency being polar apart. And this gate sits in the solar plexus, which we know is our emotional center. It's also connected to gate 59 in the sacral, which is intimacy and all about relations. So essentially, this is more about friction or striving for peace in relationships. So for marketing, I refer to this gate, gate six, as the peace advocate. And honestly, if you are a gate six brand, if this happens to be in your personality sun, then I'm sure you feel this in yourself, that there is a strong desire for a sense of peace, whether that is world peace or peace of mind, you genuinely want relationships to be smooth, healthy and productive. But you also know that this friction that shows up in relationships well, this is about open communication and in a way it's opening the door for resolution. So you want to think about gate six energy as emotional, but with a sense of this is about my values and a quest to work through the emotions that are coming up and reach this place of resolution and a feeling of peace in the relationship or in the situation. Now, don't forget to stay to the end of the episode where I share your three cosmic content codes for gate six, the peace advocate. In this section of the show, we take you through the kind of content that is gonna be resonant and relevant as we transit through gate six in the human design transit chart, which happens halfway through September each year, or it's also relevant to you if you have the gate six in a prominent position like your personality sun or your personality mercury in your own body graph. But first we're gonna explore the low frequency of gate six and then the high frequency. The low frequency of gate six is the energy of conflict, tension, friction, in particular in relationships. And we all know that this is a very big part of our lives. Our closest relationships bring up our most emotional states of being. And so as this gate is transiting, you might actually feel some tension in your relationships, but know that it's showing up to open up a conversation, to heal the conflict, and to move you towards a place of peace in the relationship, and it can also happen at a community level where the friction has shown up in a group. So we're using this energy, this frequency of conflict to open up a clear and kind conversation where the emotions are processed and we heal individually and collectively. But let's be honest, we as human beings are unconsciously addicted to the drama, am I right? And so this is something that you're going to be dealing with in your life. The important piece here is the quest to resolve the tension, the quest to heal and ultimately to create peace. And after all, if we don't have peace in relationships, then we will never have peace on earth. In the high frequency of gate six, we move towards diplomacy. So we're looking at being able to step back from the emotional tension resolve and step into a more regulated way of being in relationship. In fact, if you have the gate six in a prominent position in your body graph, then you will understand that this is actually not about the friction. It's about your ability to respond rather than react to navigate difficult situations in relationship and therefore the response to come from a place of careful consideration and be more neutral around the energy of emotion. And perhaps if you do have the gate six defined, 
You see this in your ability to harmonize difficulty in relationships, that you actually bring this diplomacy and this energy of peace. Now let's get into our three cosmic content prompts for gate six, peace advocate. But before we do that, if you're not subscribed, go and hit the subscribe button now. For our first cosmic content prompt, for gate six, the peace advocate. I wanna ask you to share what peace of mind means to you. What brings you peace of mind? What does it create? What does it transform your experience of life into when you have peace of mind? And for our second cosmic content prompt for gate six, peace advocate, we're going down frequency now. When has friction been needed and necessary to motivate you into action. This can actually be a personal story, but I want you to draw a comparison to something relevant to your niche in how you tell it so that you're always creating your content from a place of relevance and building your beautiful business. And for our third cosmic content prompt for gate six, the peace advocate, let's get personal. When was the last time you had a conflict that you're comfortable sharing in your marketing and how did you resolve it? And what was the benefit of you resolving it? And I am talking about in your work, in your community or in a personal relationship. This is the kind of vulnerable share that is actually going to deepen connections with your audience and that is a beautiful thing. Now, before I go, let us know in the comments if you have gate six in your body graph. And another thing, I know how much you're loving this Cosmic Content Code series. Well, guess what? Now you can get your hands on the entire body of work all 64 gates as cosmic content prompts so you can access them to work with your content you can plan it out in advance it comes with so many additional resources a video on how to use it it's an amazing thing to get your hands on so go to the description now and get your hands on my 64 cosmic content codes guide and i'll see you next time